Hello, today's video we have the following content. Updates from the crew of the Leisure. There are variables in Ziozod's role as the male protagonist, and two top actors compete for the role. Recently, there have been media reports on the Leisure on the internet. In particular, many people have revealed that the crew of this drama has been updated. It has been rumored that Ziozon will play the male lead, but now there are changes in the official announcement. This is really ridiculous. It is worth mentioning that this insider revealed that X and Jin's he currently has two top tire roles, namely Ziozon and Yang Yang. They are both top tire superstars, outstanding actors and positive idols. According to insiders, the crew of the Leisure has updated its news. Ziozon's role as the male lead may be variable. Currently, two top actors, Ziozon and Yang Yang, are competing for the role. This is really ridiculous and even more nonsense. After all, there was no official announcement from the beginning, let alone who the male protagonist was, and Ziozon was once again involved in the whirlpool of public opinion. As for Ziozon, he has never announced to the outside world that he will star in Dex and Jinzi, and there is no news that he will even join the cast. Therefore, he still follows the official lead and does not make appointments unless it is officially announced. Judging from the fans' response, everyone expressed that it was unreasonable. No matter what the crew's choice was, everyone just supported it. As Peter Pan, everyone is naturally looking forward to Ziozod's works, and also believes in the acting skills of powerful actors. After filming the new drama The Legend of the Hidden Sea, he will continue to join the cast. It just depends on how Ziozon and the team make their choice. In short, I wish Ziozon the best. No matter what kind of public opinion, it is impossible to affect Ziozon's progress. I hope Ziozon goes well and look forward to meeting Ziozon better soon. Ziozon currently has two new works. I have been waiting for the release of The Legend of the Condor Heroes and am very much looking forward to Ziozon's new role Guojing. Next news. Seamlessly join the group. Ziozon's The Legend of Tibetan Sea is expected to wrap up in May, and the location of the new drama is revealed to be in preparation in Nichen. Those who eat melons eat melon souls, and the melon movers in the entertainment industry are online. As we all know, Ziozon is currently on the set of The Legend of the Hidden Sea, cooperating with director Shang Ziya along. After this drama, it was reported on the internet that Ziozon will join the cast of The Leisure, Moon Sunshine's first film. The Legend of Tibetan Sea was officially launched at the end of last year, and the online transmission will be completed in May this year. Although it has not been officially announced that Ziozon will star in the film, filming is about to wrap up, and the filming of D Leisure is already being prepared in Nichen. As can be seen from Reuters, there are some daily household items, such as wooden barrels, bamboo baskets, ceramic pots, benches, etc., and even two rickshaws and a fishing boat. It is known that X and Jin's He is a War-themed small character group portrait film. It is based on the Shippei Defense Battle, a key battle in the Western Hubei campaign in May 1943, and spans the fall of Nanjing, the destruction of Yichen, and the victory of Shippei three historical stages. In addition, the production team of this show is also very good. Director Kong Sheng of Battle of Changsha, Parental Love, and Lang Gai Bang. Lan Zia Long is the screenwriter of The Legend of the Condor Heroes, Soldier Assault, My Commander My Regiment, and Changjin Lake. Hao Hongling is the producer of No or Not, Mountains and Seas, Children of the Kiao Family, The Pretender in the Beginning. Complete. All of them are well-known people with works in hand. I have to say that regardless of whether Ziozon appears in the Leisure or not, this movie is a solid piece of cake. But, having said that, those who dare to sneak away from Ziozon nowadays are basically relatively strong ones. For example, I collaborated with Maggie Chun on Carmen directed by Wong Kar Wai. For example, my partner Liu Yifri once again collaborated with Sui Hark's Little Lee Fei Dao, The Ruthless Sword. Entering the entertainment industry alone, building a team on his own, relying on his own strength and reputation in exchange for job opportunities. So far, none of the artists, directors, or brands who have worked with Ziozon have said anything bad about Ziozon. It can be seen that his success has really convinced everyone. I believe that Ziozon will be able to go further and produce more good works in the future.